place. And then finally, the time of the, of the day that we're looking to make these trades. What you will find invariably is that uh, the moves in the marketplace, like here you can see uh, where this move really started, was back here. Uh, it started on this bar, and this bar is at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, now, if, if you don't buy that the move started there, you could definitely see that the market was breaking through the lows here, which is the 4 a.m. bar. 3 to 4 a.m. Eastern Time is when the London traders uh, are getting to their desk. It's when the London traders are getting uh, their, their orders. So this is really the London Open, if you will. Uh, now, I realize that the market is open 24 hours a day, but you know, you've got to realize that it, there, there, there aren't, there's not active trading 24 hours a day. Uh, I mean, you can just see that right in this region here. Uh, so 3 to 4 a.m. is the London Open. And you can see by 3, there's 4, 5, 6. By 7 a.m., the market had broken down. Uh, by, by right about 8 o'clock, you can see that the market had retraced back up and was then heading back down. Uh, you'll, you'll see another opportunity to trade uh, between 9 and uh, 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. And I break this area down into a couple of, of different time slots. Uh, now I will say this. You can see this as early as 7 a.m. So se you, you, sometimes you'll see the market moving about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but here's the logic behind this. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is when the uh, New York banks are, are getting their orders. This is when uh, the bulk of the customer orders start flowing in to the New York market makers. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is options expiration. Every single day in the Forex market, there's a possible options expiration. And you'll see the market move based on that. Um, I'll, I'll cover this in, in later sections uh, on the website, but just, just know this, that every day the options expire in the Forex market, but the, the big difference between the Forex market and, say, the options market on, on equities or futures is that um, these options, they're called barriers. Say, for example, there's a big option uh, barrier just above these prices here at 9800 uh, which means that if the price goes above 9,800, a firm might stand to make, uh, you know, 100 or 200 million dollars, let's say, um, gross. Uh, but let's say that based on the cost and everything, they're really looking at netting. <clears throat> I'll just, I'll make this simple. Those, those numbers are, are really big. Let me make it simple. Uh, let's say that if, if the price goes above 9,800, IBM is going to make 10 million dollars. Uh, so IBM may be willing to spend, let's say, $4 million to try and push the price above 9800 Well, the bank, who's standing to lose $10 million, they might be willing to spend $6 million in order to what's called defend the price level, which means they're going to be selling, the, the IBM's going to be buying, so IBM's going to come in, they're going to buy $4 million, the bank's going to sell $6 million, the net effect is price is going to go down. Okay, that's a real quick and dirty explanation of options expiration every day at 10 a.m. Uh, then again, at between 11 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, you're seeing the London traders going home. Uh, so this is really the, the London close. Uh, because again, uh, the customers are going home for the day. Uh, the, you know, the business has been done for the day, so the London traders are squaring up positions. If they have anything left over, they're going to need to buy or sell, and you can have an opportunity uh, right around that period. And then, uh, you know, this, this period can really extend into uh, about 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and, and from then on, New York's really the only market that's open. Uh, so that's the sweet spot. So 3 to 4 a.m., you've got the London open, as early as 7, but solidly from 9 to 12.30 Eastern Time.